Music World! Music World! I'm Daryl. And I am your favorite host of all time, Cody! Cory! Cody! Cory! Cody! Cody! Cory! Cory! Well, today... We had a new show for you. This is the pilot! First time ever! <laughs> yes, sir. We were, we were inspired by a movie. Inspired? We were inspired by a movie. And that movie was... Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Wayne's, Wayne's World. World. Wayne's World. Wayne's Still working on the name a little bit. Yep. But so, uh until until that it's a music review. Music world. Whatever we said. Whatever music whatever. review world. So what are we gonna talk about for we're the gonna first set? We're gonna talk about several things. We're gonna talk about some of our favorite bands maybe. Some of our favorite concerts we've been to or going to. Uh some of our favorite experiences, some of our favorite musical finds maybe. Uh it's just a bunch of shit. Yeah. So stay tuned because this is gonna be Five hours of awesomeness! Five. Something like that. Well, the first thing we're going to talk about is what is our favorite band at the time right now? Corey? I'd probably go with Grateful Dead. I mean, one of my favorite bands of all time. Yeah. I mean, I like, I usually bounce back and forth to bands a lot. I mean, mm -hmm. I always have my number one favorite, which is probably The Doors. But right now, it's Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Man. Just because. When I listen to his music, it just brings me back to traveling, going on vacays, shins, you know, getting the chicks, doing the, the cool chicks. stuff, motorcycles, all that cool stuff. I mean, yeah, I like I like Bob Seger. I mean, he's pretty good. I mean, I'm just pretty psyched on that album. Uh, against the Wind. <laughs> Which is a great album. It's even better when it's autographed. Indeed, especially when you find it at. Wherever you found it. <laughs> Five bucks. Five bucks. Officially signed. I think. I mean, look up the signature on like all the authentic sites. Looks very similar. Similar. Why someone would turn that in? They lost my game. Yep. Indeed. Yes, sir. And I've been coming up on a lot of cassettes lately. Mm -hmm, me too. And the one I've been looking for most was uh, the live one. Damn it, what's a gold? I don't know. I got Live Bullet the other day, and that one's pretty sick. Yeah, isn't that what it's called, Live Bullet? Or is no, it just the live? The one that, that we, we oh, couldn't yeah. find. Yeah, it's actually kind of a funny story. I'm going to yeah. tell you this real quick. Uh, there's this live Bob Seger cassette. I have the album. We were listening to the album, like, I don't know, a month ago. And then we he was wanting to find the cassette. So he was, like, on eBay and stuff, and I was like... I mean, it wasn't like overly expensive on yeah. there, like five bucks or so. I mean, for a cassette, kind of expensive, yeah, I guess. Expensive. And uh, like the next day, <laughs> I was like looking through my cassettes, and not only did I have a copy of that cassette, I had two copies of the cassette. Two. I mean, kind of crazy. And then we found another. We found like I think like another copy yeah. or two. Like the next day, I had to buy a goodwill. So then, I bought it, and it doesn't work. So good like, thing Corey went clutch. I try. Because that's definitely my favorite one. It has a. Uh, uh, traveling man, mm -hmm. and then it just transitions into beautiful losers, and they play that on the radio a lot out here, like that exact one. And I've always wanted it. You know, you also, they also play a lot on the radio down here. A bunch of bullshit. <laughs> John Mellencamp. I hate John Mellencamp. I mean, it's like we're from Indiana, and we're from like around the area where he was from, yeah. but they are like overly obsessed with him for some reason. It's the sound of his everything. It sucks. I hate John Mellingham. I hope he watches this <laughs> and realizes he sucks really bad. I mean, there's not one good song that I've heard. Shaq and Dudley. Let me tell you this. That's not even real. It isn't. I made it up. So, <laughs> John Mellencamp, suck eggs. I guess. You know who also sucks? ICP. Oh, God, dude. It's like, I, I want to, like, sit here and I don't want to, like, talk shit about all these bands that just suck because I mean I'd rather generate, oh, we're going to I'd rather generate my time personally talking about bands that don't suck they don't suck and there's like so many people that are like hyped on ICP though and it's like Fuck yeah, blows my mind I mean just like I mean it's like I can kind of understand where some people like shitty bands like I mean I don't get it but I can kind of see where they're coming from I mean no 
I mean, it um, just doesn't make yeah, sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. But like ICP, there's no way. There's like, I mean, no music. The music's not any good at all. Period. No. And especially, this is where I see like see like the brainwashing is real, because you have all these people following into this little stupid ass cult of ICP, and they just think it's the coolest thing to be. Pieces We're juggalos. Let's go wreak havoc and be dumb shits, and let's go like. Crawl around in the mud like, like a bunch of fucking losers. Shit, rebels were fucking dudes that blasted Motley Crue and fucking broke shit. You know who was a sick group of people? Deadheads. Deadheads. And those are people that you can like appreciate. Yeah. I mean, they'll give you the shirt off your back. And people hate on hippies, man. I like hippies. I mean, I could mm -hmm. be, we could be considered hippies, but I mean, we're not dancing naked in the rain or anything. But still. It's yeah, like, although we were the other day at Fogarty. Yeah, it's like people hate on them so bad, but they're the coolest. They're the sickest. They're the, the OG stoners. The OG deadheads. People just want to hate because that's how it is, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really don't understand what like some people like, but, you know, I mean, each, each their own, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I don't understand why someone wouldn't like, like, Black Sabbath. And like we'll try to like get into an argument with you that like ICP's better than them. Yeah. It's just like that's fucked up. I mean, I had a guy at my work one time trying to tell me Slipknot was better than Metallica, <laughs> <laughs> and that was no. uh, Metallica is awesome. When I say awesome, I mean there are three albums that I really enjoy: Ride the Lightning, Kill 'Em All, Master of Puppets. I really enjoy Injustice for All. And the, yeah, and that album's okay, but it's like. That's when they started getting into the alternative It's like when you, when you start going into, like, St. Anger and, like, a Reload and, like, I think it's, like, Reload again. Yeah, I don't... I stopped listening, mostly. <laughs> I mean, it's, like, St. Anger for that album. It's, I mean, it's, like, Godsmack, pretty much. Yeah, it's just, it just sounds like just alternative like Godsmack. fucking butt rap gay. And, I mean, luckily they killed it. They're the thrash metals, the fucking powerhousers, whatever. And then you got these assholes over here, Slipknot. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, God, dude, I, I mean, I think they music. released a, a new song or something the, like, last week, because I saw, like, my Facebook uh, timeline just, like, exploded with, like, gay Slipknot talk. I mean, Slipknot sucks. I mean, they are not any good. I mean, I'm sorry for people that watch this and they're offended. I mean, I honestly, they're just, they suck. I mean, yeah. go listen to better music. We're going to give you some hints and uh, some beds to listen to on this video, so stay tuned. We're yeah, going to yeah. unbrainwash you. We're going to help you out. We're going to help. This is what our show is going to be. Is helping you guys out, mm -hmm. finding the good music that people don't have out there that need to be out there. You know, there's. Let's just start now. There's Dead Meadow. If you like, you know, trippy, psychedelic y, stoner y rock and roll, look them up. Radio Moscow. Radio Moscow. The be one of the best bands out there. They're definitely my top three. Um, the Sword. Cadivar. Cadivar. The Sword. Cadivar and The Sword, dude, are. The sword is like a mixture of Black Sabbath and Metallica. They rule. Cadavar looks like they crawled out of the 60s and just started powerhouse racking it out. You know, and then you got Sleep. They've mm -hmm. been around for a long ass time. Yeah, it sounds like the early yeah. 90s. And they just dropped a new song actually for Adult Swim, which is really random. Yeah, I don't even know and what that is. Dude, but... it's, it's awesome. It's, the song is so good. It's called Clarity. Look it up. Sleep. Clarity. Um, Electric Wizard, mm -hmm. you know. The Shrine. The Shrine. Oh, man, The Shrine, dude. Those, uh, these are bands that need to get out there. You know, you got Earthless, Harsh Toad, uh, Wolf Mother. Wolf Mother's decently big, but, I mean, they need to be... All these bands need to be out there as far as... I mean, these are, like, all, like, relatively mainstream. new bands. Yeah, they are. And it's... And I don't know why they don't play them on the radio. Instead, yeah. you hear, like, bullshit. You have alternative rock radio. You hear, like, Coldplay. They suck. Coldplay, another shitty band. Yeah. They just need to have a whole, a whole station of psychedelic rock music, with the newer bands and the older bands. It's like it's I would love if the guy from Stuck in the Psychedelic Hour, the Hermit, the Hermit, had his own station, just like 24 hours of yeah. music he played. He kills it. He kills it. Hermit, if you're out there listening, please have your own station. We're not worthy. We're not, We're worthy. not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. So those are some good ones. Um, Let's, let's move on. We'll, we're vented. 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 Um, something I want to go ahead and talk about real quick. Judas Priest, Redeemer of Souls. 
Mm -hmm. Shit. I mean, it's like you can't even like see because the camera's facing us, but yeah. we were staring there's at a, a yeah, giant a, Redeemer of Souls Judas Priest cover. I guess. And it's funny thing. because I don't even have the album right now because yeah. it's like thirty bucks. I just yeah, it's pretty cool. Money. But. But I when, have heard it. Yeah. When there's one song on there that I'm like, eh. yeah. But I wasn't expecting him to get his vocals as high as he did. A lot of people out there saying it's kind of generic sounding and. They don't like the old sound, but that yeah. is the sound. The Are old you sound is what we need. That one? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. The old sound is what we need. Not new fucking gay sound. Mm -hmm. I mean, even Black Sabbath's new album had that kind of newish sound, and it kind of like made me uh, a little bit, but it was still really good. Mm -hmm. It grows on you, you know? too. Because those dudes are old as shit, and they're still ripping, and they're always going to be ripping to the gods. You know, and Judas just came out, the first song, just screaming like mm -hmm. some gnarly shit. I mean it's nothing like painkiller screams but it's 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 good. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. I mean the, the title track too uh, Redeemer of Souls. I hear it played on uh, Ozzy's Boneyard a lot. It's, it's a really, just a really good song. Indubitably. And so now that that's off our chest we're going to talk about what's our our favorite concert so far that we've been to. This and year or just? Just in general. Oh, that's a hard one. And if you guys want to tell us what your favorite concerts you've been to, or you, if there's any older dudes out there that yeah, want to share their stuff. stories with us, that'd be awesome. Yeah, because comment we, below or yeah, just make a video and yeah, just tag me we, in it. We love listening to that. We love watching, you know, we love hearing about, you know, back in my day type stories, you mm -hmm. know, because in reality, we don't belong in this era. No, oh, you were born in the wrong era. Yeah, we, we, really, we really don't. So. <coughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and say my favorite concert, obviously, Black Sabbath. Because it's awesome to see these dudes, you know, Tony Iommi's fighting cancer. Uh, bummer that Bill Ward wasn't there. Geezer Butler kills it still. Ozzy doesn't even know his damn mm -hmm. name, and he's still coming yeah, up with genius things. You have to give props, like the drummer for Mudge Against the Machine did step up, and he did do a really yeah, good job. And he even looked like him, which was yeah. really strange. He's definitely younger looking, obviously, but looked like him. Um, and you know, it's cool to see like a band that you're really psyched on. I mean, just like if I seen the Doors live, that'd be awesome. Uh, but Black Sabbath has just always been one of my kind of go-to bands. Um, it's just like they're the they're inventors of of a genre, stoner rock, and then seeing them live is just <laughs> mind blowing, yeah. blowing, blowing, blowing. I mean, it was a, that was a really solid show. Just like this question is kind of like it's hard to narrow it down to just one. Yeah. I mean, we, I see we saw Roger Waters do the Wall live. That Which was an amazing so awesome. show. It's like Black Sabbath, like uh, Derek mentioned. Awesome show. Very awesome. It's like we saw Billy Idol. It was a pretty good show. Uh, we saw John Fogarty. I mean, oh, that yeah, show was, was just amazing. I mean, in the rain, so worth it. Yeah, so it was worth pouring it. rain, and it was awesome. I mean, I saw Bob Weir and a rat dog, and he was doing so many Grateful Dead songs. I mean, this is just like an awesome Dead Dead experience. But hopefully we get to see Fleetwood Mac. Mm -hmm. in Tickets October. are expensive. Yeah, pretty, pretty pricey. But uh, the, my favorite concert that I've ever been to all time, hands down, would be Paul McCartney. I mean, it was just... The closest thing I'm ever going to get to see the Beatles. I mean, he played for like three and a half hours, four hours, and it was just like nonstop. He didn't take a break. He had like three encores. It was just an amazing show. That sounds awesome. I mean, yeah. it was just a, so many Beatles songs, so many Wing songs. I mean, yeah. it was just like the best experience I could ever have at a concert. Yeah, I wish I could have went. Yeah. But. I did experience with my dad, though. He's yeah, a big the Beatle maniac. And that's, just, that's super sick. Um. Coming up, though, we got Three Dog Night. Mm -hmm. The Happy Together Tour. Turtles. Gary Lewis and the... Playboys. And Detroit. Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we went to the uh, Happy Together Tour last year. <laughs> it's actually kind of a funny story. Oh, I mean, geez. I mean, he saw half the show. I yeah, think. I only seen half of it. I, I mean, it was like the most stressful day of our lives, probably. It's like... I mean, it's like, first off, I don't think we found out about the concert last year until, like, the week before. So yeah, it was just, like, much. chaos trying to get that day off. Trying to get there. 
And then like I had to meet him there, and I'm like, I am the world's worst driver like, oh, ever. Dude. I mean, Navigator, getting there, driver. Getting there was easy because it was like daylight, yeah. and it was just like it was simple to get there. But then you, but like, you go to the Indianapolis Fairgrounds, like the parking is just like it's crazy. I mean, it's, it's like a big crazy. giant lot, and like. I got in there and I was there like at five o'clock and I was like trying to get a hold of him. I'm like it took me like an hour to get a hold of him, and then like he calls me and like the show's already going on so it's loud as like shit in there. Yeah. So I'm like trying to talk to him and like I can't hear him. It's like Mark Lindsay's there playing like Indian Reservation behind me. You know, yeah, that song was awesome. It was a fun show though. I mean, it was definitely an experience I always remember and always la go back and laugh uh, at now. But yeah, uh, it was a. Uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure like a, the group of people that we were with wanted to kill me by that end. <laughs> and then I forgot where I parked at, at the end. I mean, I kind of find my car. Trying to find our way, man. It was... It was so worth it, though. It it's like we weren't even, like, wrecked or anything. Yeah, we really weren't. <laughs> we were completely sober. I'm just an idiot. So that was... That's going to be a pretty grand... Mm -hmm. I mean, this, this, this show, hopefully, will be a little bit more organized this time. Yeah, we'll have it a little more planned. Um, yeah, we've known about this for a couple months now, so... Yeah. And then in August, which is this month. Uh, also in August. Yeah. It's like two or three weeks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kiss and Def Leppard. Mm -hmm. I'm really hoping Kiss will be the headliners. I'm sure they will. Because Def Leppard, like, they're okay. They have some songs. I used to really hate on them, but they have some songs that are like, okay, they're pretty good. And especially one arm drummer, like, that's. And it's pretty good. That's it's pretty, pretty awesome. damn good. So, I mean, Too Late for Love by them is a really good song. It's really. I feel like it's pretty heavy for them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> too late, too late. Yeah, like the way, I mean, I'm not like I don't totally hate Def Leppard, yeah. but it's there's some like the folk song photograph, like Rock of Ages. Photograph. I kind of like Rock of Ages now right. for some reason. I, it was like I used to hate on it, but it, there's like a funny story behind it now. And then I started listening to it for that funny story, and then I kind of got hooked yeah. on it. So it's like the it's me catchy, though. Damn it. The me though, I paid to see Kiss. Def yeah, Leppard's there. It's an added bonus. I'll yeah, take it. I'll take it. I'll, I'll, take it. I'll watch watch them. I'll chill in the lawn for. Four hours with all my dudes listening to some badass music. Mm -hmm. No, and I don't mean in a gay way. When I do it, damn it. <laughs> I'm talking like all the homies. homies. Yeah, we're gonna. We've been going to concerts a lot lately together, and it's sick. Mm -hmm. Cause it was just me and Cody. Now we're adding people. Yes, getting them back in yeah, that. Hopefully, we'll have a big group for the turtles yeah. too. And you know what has been on my mind a lot lately? What would that be? Iggy Pop and the Stooges, mm -hmm. aka just the Stooges, their their first album. It's actually kind of funny that you mentioned that because I just saw our good buddy that we oh, saw yeah. the Turtles last year we just, we posted, posted about that, it. Yeah. It was the anniversary, I believe, of the album, yeah, like yesterday, was. from the Iggy Pop and the Stooges' first album. And I think it's sick. I was like, consider the first punk album. I hear the punk in it, but I hear more psychedelic just because the guitar. But um, Search and Destroy definitely sounds punk. Mm-hmm. See him destroy the Metallica sounds heavy metal. Yep. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and this hour is brought to you by Extreme Close Up. Whoa! Whoa! Back to reality. So, um, anything else to add, maybe, or that you want to talk about, mm. or is there a specific band or album or artist that you want to add? Well, I'm sure Derek wants me to talk about the Smashing Pumpkins. His, his favorite band. The worst. They're not the worst. They're the worst. No. They, alright, this is how I'm going to This is going to be a little pull. Yeah, this, this is going to be a pull. A I, pull. I tried, okay. P-O-L-L. -L. I have two, two more friends that listen to them, and they swore up and down how good they were. So I said, okay, I'll take your word. And we listened to two disc album. Melancholy and Infinite yeah. Sadness. And by the first song was over, I wanted to shoot myself because well, the first it song sucked. of that album is just like an instrumental. And then the intro. second song came on, I wanted to shoot myself. You don't like the song tonight, tonight? I don't like any of them. They have a song was in nineteen fucking seventy nine. Yeah, it's like trying to bite Bowie. Shut down, nineteen seventy nine. But you know, my music taste has changed a lot since then, and I haven't really even listened to them anymore, like because that was kind of the one and done type shit. So maybe I'll listen to him again, and maybe I'll catch a little different feel. But until then, yeah, and I have to say, like the thing with the Smashing Pumpkins, they're a band that you know I've liked forever, 
and I just kind of stopped listening to him for like years because I got more into like the 60s psychedelic rock. Which is always number one. I mean, which is, I mean, that's the greatest genre of music, hands down. Yep. And I'm not even going to argue that, but. Always. I mean, I think I just heard like one of their songs on the radio and I was like, eh, it doesn't sound too bad. So like I got one of their albums and it's like, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of digging it still. And like the thing with the Smashing Pumpkins and my dad, he got, I mean, I was listening to that like that double album since I was like five because he bought it like brand new. So like every time I hear that album, it just brings back really good memories. Which is always good. Always. Good. For sure. But, I don't like him right now. Right now, I'm gonna convert him. He says, but... Billy Corgan, come over here. Right now, we're gonna do some jam sessions. And we're gonna make the Smashing Punk Kens. <laughs> so CM Punk, you're also welcome to come over. Yep. Well, anything else to add? I don't know, I mean... We're going to maybe have another one of these here soon. Maybe uh, work out some bugs. Indeed. Because this was our first test video. Yeah, so don't give us too much shit. Yeah. Especially if, if you're like ICP lovers and you're just going <laughs> to come here and talk shit about us because we're like good music. Yeah. Um, any suggestions? Don't mean to offend anyone, you know. Comment below. Suggestions. Anything you want to hear us talk about or, you know, we want to hear your experience with whatever music. You um, should totally... Totally had that in mm, Maybe pretty tubular. Yeah. So? And, uh, I think we're going to leave you with some maybe John Fogarty here at the end. Mm. <laughs> we show you some show footage that I got at the concert. Always good. So right now our special guest, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John, John Fogarty! We got my two thumbs up!